So during this E3, I had two favorite moments. The first one was uh, during the conference when the people were really enjoying the live performance of uh, Grant and the critical hits. And the second moment that uh, it was beautiful for me, it was uh, yesterday when a uh, fan really approached me saying how much they loved Mario Pusarabit's Kingdom Battle and I cannot wait for the new Donkey Kong Adventure. When you play Mario Rabbids and, and all the DK adventure, either one right, it's something about the, the game's got that quality where it's like putting on your favorite pair of slippers. It just feels really nice. It's really cute, it's great looking, it's funny. It's got all that Nintendo-esque and Ubisoft quality is such a great experience. We did get the chance to work on some of the music uh, that Grant wrote for Donkey Kong 64, yeah. such as the Decay Isle. When you sent it to me, it was like a very emotional for me because I went back, all the back down to those days where I was playing the game. It was very good. It was incredible. Uh, what I wanted to achieve with the Donkey Kong Adventure was trying to give to the players that played Mario Plus Rabbit's Kingdom Battle something completely new. And you just don't go to Nintendo saying, I would like to use the character, and that's it. You have to prove them what it will bring for the players, which kind of experience they will live throughout your game. So I really started to concentrate on the physicality of Donkey Kong, his long, powerful arms, his agility, and that's why in the, the DLC you have all those moving abilities that are really changing the combat system. Uh, you can grab enemies, you can grab teammates, you can grab cover, and you can throw them all over the battlefield. So it's something completely new that adds a lot of action in terms of flavor to the combat system as it was not present before in the main game.